Hey guys, it's me, Ren, and in today's tablet review, we got a very new tablet to introduce to you, and not only will be for your PC and laptops, but also for Android phones as well. So the lovely people over at Galmon sent an invitation email to review one of their newest graphic tablet, which is the Galmon S640 Pen tablet. Galmon is also celebrating their anniversary this October and with that they are launching a huge sale for all their Garmon products in the selected stores available in the description down below. This is my first time to review one of Gaumon's tablets and I'm pretty excited to test this out and stay tuned to hear my final verdicts on what I think about this product. Also, disclaimer, this is an honest review and I'll be based upon my experience with the tablet. So with that in mind, let's jump right into it. Before we start the unboxing, I have to apologize on my setup and lighting. It might be too dark for y'all to see but I'll do my best to get the right lighting shots of the contents and the product itself. Okay, so the tablet is small and compact and it was well sealed upon delivery so let's start opening this up and see what's inside. So here we have the box of the Gaumon S640 battery free pen tablet. At the back of the box contains the specs for the tablet like in terms of work area, pressure sensitivity, and etc. Once we cut off the sticker on the sides of the box, we are greeted with the tablet inside a protective plastic and on top of it is the warranty card and greeting card which contains links of the Gaumon website and on downloading the driver. Before we open the tablet, let's see what's inside the little compartment at the left side of the box. So here we have the USB cable to connect your tablet to your computer and can we appreciate that it has a velcro-like wrap attached on it so I can properly store it and it doesn't get tangled as I put it away. Here we have the pen. It's a really good pen actually. I very like its design and the rubber grip on it. The buttons on this pen is really good and also in good function and condition. It's very comfortable when I hold it also so I'm really excited to work with this. And next is the pen pouch for your pen. So after use you can just store it in here. And lastly we have the two USB adapters for Android phones. Again the tablet doesn't support iOS devices so I'm sorry for all those iPhone users out there. When I was about to open the tablet, there are more inside under the tablet. So here we got the extra nibs and the nib remover. I rarely replace my nibs but I'm glad they provide lots of these. Next we have their very own smudge glove with their brand engraved in it. And it fits very well to my hand and it's a bit thick but very comfy to wear and I really like it. And lastly, we have the guide or instruction manual on setting up the tablet. So now we're going to get the tablet out and see its design. So it's a very cute little tablet. It's not the smallest tablet I ever held other than the Vake S640P, but I could compare its size to a Wacom Intuos. So this is the Gammon S640 pen tablet with 6.5 by 4 inches work area. It has a pen pressure of 8192 pressure sensitivity. So the tablet only supports Android OS, Mac OS, and Windows OS. So this tablet only works for Android phone users and not so much on iOS smartphones. Well, lucky for me, I don't own iPhones because I'm a cheap ass bitch. But they do have requirements for Android devices which is to have one Android 6.0 or higher version of the system and two support OTG function. I don't even know what that is but yeah, that's what it says. OTG function is basically um to support um, USB adapters to your computer so they can function accordingly. So anyways, the tablet has 4 express keys that you can calibrate and adjust. It has 4 rubber studs at the back so it doesn't slip when you work and would stay intact. Overall, I just really like its simplistic design and it's giving me a great impression. So onwards to Android testing. So before we start, make sure you put the USB adapter for Android on the USB cable from your tablet. 
I tried to use my phone and it's a vivo something I forgot the model but sadly it doesn't work even if I turned on the OTG and did the phone mode thing by pressing the first and third express keys as it was said on the manual so I decided to ask one of my classmates if I could borrow their phone for this video and miraculously it worked great so her phone is a Samsung Android phone and I'm just gonna put the model on the screen I'll be asking three of my classmates to do some testing for me on some drawing apps. We're all art students and I'll be linking their social medias if you want to see their artworks as well on the screen or in the description down below. The first app is Autodesk Sketchbook. The tablet has an automatic pressure sensitivity and it's functioning very well. At first, we couldn't find any cursor to help in navigating when we draw but as soon as we increase the size of the brush on the app, we can finally see the cursor. We can also navigate our way through the app which makes working with it easier and efficient. Overall, it worked really well on Autodesk Sketchbook. The next app that we'll be testing is Ibis Paint. So right off the bat, pressure sensitivity works well and the experience is very good, but sadly there is no cursor to help in navigating through the app no matter how much we increase the size of the brush. So. I only chose two known apps for mobile as of the moment, so the only app that will be best suited for this tablet is Autodesk Sketchbook. So if you ever wish to work on an app with a drawing tablet connected, use Autodesk Sketchbook. Now that we tested the tablet on mobile phones, we're going to start testing it on my laptop. So first of all, you have to delete the driver from your previous tablet and with that, let's start downloading the driver for Gaumon S640. Go to gaumon.net and at their homepage, we'll click on download driver and search up the model of your tablet and it will immediately give you the download for the driver. Wait for the driver's zip file to finish downloading and then unzip the file and open the folder. And then click in the exe file for the driver to start installing. Once everything is all good during installation, let's check out the interface of the driver. Visually, it looks really good and I really like the layout of the driver. Next, I'll be calibrating the four express keys and calibrating the pen and its pen pressure. Once I'm settled and satisfied with the pen pressure sensitivity, let's start making some art. So y'all know I've been into Kimetsu no Yaiba lately, especially that they'll be releasing a movie soon and also I'm very excited for the next manga update. So what better way to start with is by painting one of my favorite characters of the show. I'll be painting my boy Zenitsu Agatsuma, so after the speed paint I'll be talking about my experiences during the recording process and my overall thoughts.
Okay, so I'm very impressed on the overall experience I have with this tablet. It did not produce any scratchy noise whatsoever. Despite its size, it's very comfortable to work with. I really really love the pen and its rubber grip. The pen is very responsive and the buttons work very well. Express keys work great and I had no problem whatsoever. I really love the glove they have and so far I have no problems at all. So now my final verdict. Would I recommend this tablet? Yes, of course, like during this whole process it was all smooth and I got no lags or no defects. It's great that you can take it on the go which is very convenient and of course it's battery free so no need to charge the pen. I think all companies are now jumping into battery free pens as it's more demanded to all artists out there. Gaumon did a great job on their newest product and come on Gaumon, pat yourself on the back cause you deserve it man. So if you wish to purchase this product, be sure to check the links in the description down below and the Gaumon S640 is on sale now selling for the price of $29.99 or basically just $30. Thanks again so much to Gammon for inviting me to review one of their newest tablets and I hope to do more Gammon reviews in the near future. So that is all for this review and if you have any questions, I'll do my best to at least answer them. Anyways, I hope y'all are having a great day and see you on the next video. Bye!